Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here from Creative Frontiers and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create distressed edges around your images in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. So let's dive in and take a look. Well this technique you can use it on pretty much any image that you want and I'm just starting here with a simple JPEG. As you can see from the layers panel it has just one layer which is the background layer. So in order to get this effect we only need to make a selection around the outside of the canvas and then we're going to use refine edge in ways that it wasn't really intended to but it's a great way of using that feature to get the distressed edges. So from here I will go to the select menu and choose all to select everything on the document canvas in the layer in question which of course is the background layer. From here then I need to then go back to the select menu and then shrink this by going to modify and then choosing contract and then in here it'll ask you to type in and use a little bit of guesswork because you have to type in the value and then click OK to see what end result you get to how much you shrink the selection by but in here then I've tested this out for your convenience uh, and 200 pixels is the uh, is kind of the Goldilocks number that I've gone for I also will choose to apply that effect the shrinking around the edge of the canvas as well with that done I'll click OK and there we go that will shrink the selection down slightly around the edges this is in effect going to define the border area because where we have the selection here this will be where the uh, the distorted effect will be and then the outside will have a plain white background when we've done the next thing I'll do then is go back to select go down the list in here to modify and then choose feather I want to soften these edges slightly and with this one I'm going to go with 20 pixels and then I'm going to click OK there's no kind of impact for the edge really of the canvas in here so I'm just going to leave that and click OK that will soften the edges now Photoshop can't show you that softening all it will do is kind of give a hint to us that that the edges of the corners of our selection have been rounded slightly and that's due to the uh, feathering the softening of the edge of the selection and now to really see how this is working we have to go to refine edge or as it's now been called select a mask so if I go to any one of the selection tools in Photoshop it will then reveal that particular tools options but what we're really looking for is select a mask and then when I click on that it does that so and it's effectively select a mask is used when you want to uh, create a cutout you want to cut a background out from a subject or a person and in here you get a preview of what the end result will be so the first thing to do then is to go up to the top right hand side and go to the view me menu in there and choose one of the thumbnails so with this one for now I'm going to choose black and white purely because the focus here is the edge the distressed look around the edges and we can turn the preview back on afterwards but this will give us a really good vantage point to see how that effect will really work with that done then you can just click outside of the pop-up box in there and then I will from here go down to uh, edge detection I will turn on smart radius and then in this one I'm going to really crank up the radius with this one so this one I'm going to go for somewhere between 70 and 80 if I go for 75 in here you will have to be a little bit more forgiving with this dial box because it can be a little bit slow sometimes it's not an instantaneous return on those changes so you might have to wait for them to update just a second in there and it depends how complex the selection is as well from here then we have a bunch of options under global refinement you can play around with these you can go to smooth and you can smooth the edges around which really kind of melts the edges and in particular smooth is one of the ones you have to wait a couple of seconds for with that I don't want to smooth the edges and we've also already feathered them as well so we don't need to do that any further what I do want to do is I want to really emphasize this kind of crackled edge around the outside now if this is all you want to go for then you could leave it as is but if you really want to intensify this edge effect then I'm going to go down to contrast and then change that to again somewhere between sort of 60 and 70 for this image as well so I'm really turning this up in here this is measured as a percent as you can see in the field from there so I might go sort of 65 in there see how that looks and then the last thing to do is go to shift edges and this will effectively um, increase or decrease the edge of our selection so I expand or contract rather like we did with the menu command before we came in to select a mask so with this one if I increase this 
a little bit in here we get this kind of effect and you can keep dragging it you can increase it to the side and really kind of intensify that really kind of contrasty really distressed edge look around the outside it depends what you want to go for um so with this one i'm fairly happy with this um with that done then i can go back up to the preview menu up at the top click on that and then choose a different preview now with this one i'm going to choose on white and what that will do is it will give me a preview of what this will look like on our eventual white background and so with that i'm fairly happy i can click away from there and then when i'm done notice down at the bottom under output settings what do you want to do with this photoshop is another way of saying do you want to apply this to the existing layer do you want to mask the layer out well in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave the output to selection so it's just going to enhance the existing selection that we brought in here i'll go down to the bottom and then click ok now photoshop can't really show that completely accurately it's done a fairly good job but you have to bear with the selection that's just a basic preview from here then even if i have a background layer inside of photoshop active i can still go down to the bottom and click on the option here which is add a mask when i do that it will then only reveal the things that were inside the selection the region that was on the outside of that selection will now be concealed also notice then in the layer mask this is the thing that controls what is visible or what is hidden inside of that layer we have a black and white thumbnail so if you've never used layer masks before black conceals parts of uh, an image layer and white reveals and that's why we have this very subtle thumbnail inside of here the black regions around the outside were outside the selection therefore they have been hidden and from here then uh if i just rename that and call that um c press return go down to the bottom and add a new solid color adjustment layer in there uh, with that i'll just go to the uh, the brightness field in there and go right to the top left hand side make sure it's set to white but for reference um that will be something close to um 255 for the red the green and the blue in there as long as you've got something like that that'll be good from here i'll click ok and that creates the color fill layer above the artwork but if i click and drag and pull that down underneath we have our own effect so that's how you can create distressed edges around your images again it depends what kind of look you want to go for the bulk of the work and the effect is done in select and mask and that option is only available right at the top in the options bar inside of a photoshop and it's only there if you have a selection tool active inside of the tools panel so folks that's how you create a distressed edge look around your images inside of adobe photoshop thanks for watching folks and if you want to see more videos in the future do click on the subscribe button and if you don't want to miss a single video of uh, adobe goodness click on the alerts button and you'll be notified every time a new video is posted onto the channel and if you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and until next time folks farewell